Uh, good morning, guys. How's it going? Awesome. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Fuck. Are we all good now? Awesome. Uh, so this is the strangest place I've ever done comedy, and this uh, it's hands down the most fucking entertaining thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, so that's awesome. Hope everyone fucks up tonight, because that was the message that we got. Um, that was the sermon that we got this, this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Too soon? Church is too soon? It's Monday. Um, we've worked yesterday. very hard. We've worked very hard to convince most of these people this isn't a cult. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> hey guys. Uh, so I recently celebrated a birthday. Yeah, don't, yeah, it's, uh, thank you. It's not, calm down. It's not a milestone birthday. So in the book of birthdays and things that matter, it doesn't. Right. Well, I mean, it doesn't. There's things that you remember. There's, especially when it comes to birthdays, right? There's certain ones that we pay more attention to. Your very first birthday that no one remembers, right? <laughs> Your 18th birthday, that's when you become adult. That's when you can go to war, um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Your, your 21st birthday, that's when we all drink, right? And then, uh, yeah, and then, I mean, if you're, if you're a Jew or Mexican, like 15 or 16 or whatever, so like, and then after that, though, it's death, like, it doesn't matter. Um, so I turned 28. Thank you. I know what you're thinking, she looks so young. You can keep thinking that. Black don't crack. Um, yeah, no, it's just, it's nothing to remember. There's, there's certain things that you remember in life. You remember if you're old enough, you remember where you, where you were when Kennedy got shot, right? That's a thing. Ah, I didn't say you, like, specifically. I just said if you're old enough, calm down. Um, <laughs> but you remember stuff like that. You remember, we all remember where we were during 9-11, and we all remember where we were when we found out Bill Cosby was a rapist. And so, like, there's little things that we just remember. None of you are related to him. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Um, but there was, you know, that was my birthday. It was an interesting uh, time. But what I have realized turning 28, um, which is old as hell when you're 28, um, <laughs> everyone else, you're still older than me, so it's cool. But what I've realized is that I'm just a really jaded person. <laughs> Like, I've always been, like, the mom of the group. Like, I don't want to go to clubs or anything like that. But now I'm just jaded, and I hate everyone. Um, yeah, awesome. Hate. And it's... <laughs> the, the thing is, it's just like... Okay, so I'm, for, for, our, for my birthday, we went on a cruise. My roommate and a few friends of ours, we went to a cruise uh, to Mexico. Yeah. Uh, didn't come back with drugs, but whatever. Um, we went to the cruise in Mexico, and I'm jaded about the dumbest things, because on the cruise, there was this um, kind of like a know your boo thing. You guys remember that from Parks and Rec? That's fine. Um, <laughs> but there was like this, this game show, kind of like a newlyweds game, but they did it with married couples. And so everyone that wanted to play, they were shouting out like, oh, I've been married for five years. I've been married for too long. And then someone goes, We've been married for over 55 years. 55 years of marriage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so long. And my, this is how jaded I am. My very first thought was this. If you haven't been married for 55 some odd years, right? Um, bear with me. I'm a woman. I don't do math. Um, that means you were married in like 1960 something, right? And back then, it was still somewhat okay to beat your wife. So this woman, who was smiling about how happy she was, was probably just there because of submission, you guys. She... <laughs> to... That, that was the line. Not church. <laughs> Not... It wasn't church. It was, it was... It was that. So I'm just going to get rid of everything about Chris Brown uh, and Rihanna. <laughs> and I have... No more Mike Tyson jokes. Got it. Um, it's even further back. They were, never mind. Um, no, but I'm just, I'm really jaded about all sides. Love is just stupid in terms I'm concerned. It's dumb. Um, I hate everything. But I think that's what's so awesome because everyone says that like, 
love is all you need. And that's bullshit, you guys. There's, that's not true. You need hate. Hate is the one thing that can actually... <laughs> No, you guys, seriously, hate will bring all of us together. Like, I don't have anything in common with Hitler, but I fucking hate people sometimes. And so like, like there's, there's a little part of us that we all have hate. Like you can't, when's, all right, you guys know when like you go to um, a store, just any store, it doesn't matter, Store USA. You go to Store USA and like, there's this mom who's not attentive to her children. And then there's a child just running around with no sense of purpose in anything. Touching shit, bothering you, it might slap its mother, whatever. You cringe, you cringe, I saw you cringe. Because you hate that kid. You hate it. And you wanna say something, but you can't, cause you're like, oh, I don't wanna step on the toes. But just think, if you were to look up from your hate of that child for like two seconds, there's 10 other people that equally hate that child. <laughs> and wars could be solved, you guys. <laughs> just let's just agree that we all hate shit. It's totally fine. Woo. Yeah. All right. With you. Hey, thanks. Thank you. She agrees with me. Um, what I, um, I, but I, I figured out that I, I just hate um, everything. Fuck. I just, <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hate everything. I hate young people. That's and, I, and again, this is how you know. Like I really feel old. Like I hate. I hate youth. I hate youth of America. So fucking stupid. With like their oh god damn, they're just terrible. I I don't understand their issues anymore. Like the biggest one that I keep hearing about is slut shaming. You guys ever heard of slut shaming? All right. Do you guys know what sluts are? Awesome, you're already ahead of the curve. It's, so a slut is any human, but it's usually used towards women. Um, it's any woman that just sleeps around a lot. Uh, think Samantha from Sex and the City. That, that bitch was a slut, right? And apparently like now, like the kids, what they're doing is they're, they're shaming you. Like, oh, you're a slut, and it's a bad thing. Um, which makes no sense to me because I thought, like in my day, if you were a slut, you were a fucking slut, and it's a bad thing. Like it's, why are we shaming you? You should, you should feel bad about being a slut. That's not a good thing, you guys. Um, no matter what the radio tells you, no matter what popular rap music tells you, truffle butter is not cool. Um, it's not cool, it's not cool. But at the same time, like everyone has their place, right? We all can't be angels. Um, the world needs sluts. And <laughs> that's how we determine our uh, worth as a human being is how terrible someone else is. It's, <laughs> it's true, don't say it's not. Uh, it's, have you ever gone to the gym and just seen someone who had no clue what they were doing, but because you know how to turn on the treadmill, you automatically just feel better? Like, it's just, <laughs> it's the exact same thing. The world it needs its sluts. And, um, you know, it's not terrible. I, this, is, this is my personal opinion on it. If there wasn't sluts, right, then how else would we know what to do with our bodies? Kim Kardashian is a great example. Um, cause she used it. She used it on film with a C-list celebrity's brother and look at her now, okay? Um, she made it in life. She's living the American dream, uh, which is way more than I can say. Uh, maybe I should be a slut. <laughs> she is living the American dream. I'm 28, right? And I honestly, I honestly thought I would be worth uh, money by now. <laughs> and I'm, I am nowhere near it. I have $14 and 34 cents in my bank account right now. Like I live for uh, Thursday because I know I can go negative and there'll be money in there by 12 o'clock at night and it's totally cool. Not going to get that $34 significant, insignificant fun fee. But like I, I really thought I'd, I'd, I'd have money. Not money because of like of being famous or, or uh, having sex with someone's seedless brother, but like 
I thought maybe like I would be smart and invest in real estate as a child. I don't know how uh, money works. And <laughs> I would have a lot of money because there's things that you can do with money that you will, we will never be able to do. We can't get away with shit because we don't have money. Mm. You know what I mean? It sucks. I was driving um, to work the other day and this car cut me off and yeah, I was pissed about it, like clearly. Um, but then I realized how pissed I was because I was following them. And um, <laughs> when I stopped my car, I pulled up like right next to him and I rolled down the window and I was like, fuck you. And I just like couldn't believe where all this anger came from. And then like I had this rage. And when you get rage like that, that's how people commit murder, you guys. And um, if I had $50 million in the bank, I could have. I totally could have. I could have just killed him and it would have been fine. It would have been fine. It would have been totally cool. Could have wrote a check and been off. And it was all right. If I had that much money, like the things that I would do, I would find people. Like if I knew someone in California, I would just fly out to California, but to a different city and then drive down so they can't track where I was. And then <laughs> just drive down, meet them in their house, shoot them in the head, get back on the plane and go back home. You can do anything. You can do anything, it's true. You, you, no one would know. Robert Durst did it, so it's totally cool. Four people watched that HBO special and I wrote that joke just for you. <laughs> Jinx, watch it, HBO. This, this set is not sponsored by HBO, by the way. Um, it'd be nice if it would, i get paid, but um, I'm not. Not, no, not, not murder enough. Uh, $50 million. The, the point of the story was this, you guys. $50 million will get you anything. You can do anything. If you have $50 million and you are a white man, you can do whatever you want. Whatever you want in America. Jeez. I thought, um, this is really, this is like really sad, sappy comic part. Um, I thought I'd be like in love and like married by now. Um, yeah, it's stupid, and um, it's a dumb dream, like sponsored by Disney or something, it's just stupid. But I did, like a part of me is like, oh, I'm gonna be in love and like have a relationship and stuff, but like, dude, it just doesn't happen, man. It's so, my love life is just sad, dude. It's like when, it's like Game of Thrones when, <laughs> No, this is it. When they brought Oberyn in, and you fell in love with Oberyn, like the day, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones by now, just leave or get over it. But like, if you, it's like when they brought in Oberyn and you fell in love with him, and then the mountain squeezed his eyes out. It's just like, gone too soon. Just like, hashtag gone too soon. It just, it, it, it never, that is like what my love life is like. It's just non-existent, or they come and then they die. Um, not, not because I killed him. I'm not worth. I'm not worth enough money to kill someone. We just went over that. But just, they just, you know, they're just gone from me. It's really sad.